So in this video, Beck gets in my pants and we're going to show you the whole story behind it. So what was I going to say? I'm just going to do my thing. Okay. Then you can think of what you think you're going to say. But the high guys would be really good. I'll do a high guys. No, what was the one they said the other? Ubi tubies. No way. <laughs> 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 was that would be funny horror. when I heard Ubi Tubies. Not no, but was, in hell. What was it? No, it was um, Podcasters. <gasps> hi, Podcasters. Oh my God, it sounds like you're talking to like I toddlers. Know, toddlers. I know, but hi like, guys sounds a little bit. No, hi, no, hi guys yeah. is just what everyone says. You're on, aren't you? Yeah, Podcasters sounds like you're toilet training someone. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys. What's with the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to say... I don't know... Oh, I don't. Maybe I'll just say hi, guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. So, I'm wearing pants that are extremely shredded and extremely too big for me, so it's kind of annoying having to hold them up and walk around the studio with that, but that's fine. We'll, we'll make do. Uh, as Peter said, these are... He's got two different pairs of pants. He can go into his little story and stuff for you. But um, a lot of you who know Peter's work will know these ripped shredded ones. Uh, they're pretty iconic. So we're going to do a shoot in those because I've actually never shot in these pants. Everyone no, else you haven't. Has. Everyone else has except me. I'm not that special. No, I am that, I am that special. Yeah, we'll do that. Then we can <laughs> tell the story about Yeah, we pants. can tell the story about the other ones. Cool. cool. Okay, so I've set up my power, my lighting, and the placement, everything. I'll just quickly talk you through it. I'm on the Hasselblad as normal, and it's, I do love this camera, but it's the easiest one to teach with because the tethering works so flawlessly. Um, 100 mil lens, I'm shooting at my standard f8, 160th of a second at 100 ISO. We have a large Okta running here. Uh, Beck will be sitting here, so it's sort of pointed at Beck. I have, I varied the light a little bit. I turned it down more, but I got too much light on the floor and I wanted to get a little bit more light on the background. So I decided on that there. This thing here, and um, this is basically to cut some of the light out from hitting the floor here. So all this is doing is just cutting out a little bit of light because originally this floor went too bright in front of Beck. So by me dropping this little cutter in here, it's still the lighting state identical on Beck when I had it there and didn't have it there, but now gives me this sort of vignette front. And we've got a really nice little orange light up here. <laughs> <laughs> we turned it up really high so it heats back. Yes. Yes. Should I take socks off? Yes, please. All right, so this is uh, my test, well, it's one of the test pictures in my setup. It's already got all my settings on here. I might just snap a picture of back and then show you what these settings are doing. Um, all right, so cool, that's really pretty. So I've already got this pre-cropped to where I want it. Um, I've already put on the settings I want to have on here. So all the top three are dead flat. Uh, I've put shadow fill to fix the damage I've done with, you'll see how dark the blacks have gone there. So by me putting that curve to get that sort of chromey type of feel in the skin, the shadow fill is fixing what I've pulled out of my shadows. Um, the clarity slider, uh, we've got, we'll put a link at the end to the video we just did about retouching in ACR uh, where I show how I can get this um, haloing effect in ACR, so you don't have to have a Hasselblad anymore. You can actually shoot with any other camera as long as you do your raw workflow through ACR and then into Photoshop and add one or two layers, you'll get the same effect. I'm on blue channel 100%, but I've desaturated a bit because it was making her a little bit oompa loompa So just pulling my saturation off the blue shadow, blue, blue, so me pulling the saturation off the blue channel will just un oompa her and the same will apply if you were in ACR. Just use the orange slider will give you this effect by pulling the orange slider backwards. I think the only other thing, I think I put a bit, yeah, I put full vignette on there because I did want to force the viewer into this center. I've got my highlight alerts turned on and I've got plenty of room in my top end. It takes a bit to put it over. So you'll see I've got plenty of room there. Um, so that's pretty much the setup, which means I don't need to do much retouching. Uh, if I just take a shot, I'll take one quick shot without that cutter in place. Pretty face. 
you'll see when this comes up, bang, you'll see how much more light is sitting on the ground here. So that's what I wanted to get rid of that cutter. I just wanted to pull off that light on the ground. So I'm gonna just drop that back in. And I'm just gonna take another picture, let Beck do a pretty face. And you'll see what on her face, it's the same brightness. So it hasn't affected the brightness on her face, but it's definitely affected the vignetting on the floor. So that's got me happy with this. And it's just a matter of Beck and I now working to get the shot. And I'll just let Beck for the first time ever shoot in these pants. Yes, Ooh. I know. I know. Yeah, well, you feel special else now? Them except for me. Cool. Cool. So, what you might have noticed in a lot of videos, you don't hear me directing much. I just let the models drift around. I might say stronger or prettier or eyes, eyes, eyes. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Cool, cool, cool. It's really nice. Nice. Because if I adjust back too much, I'm going to change her face. Now, I know there's some things I can do with her which will give me a certain face, and there's other things that I'll do with her which will give her an uncomfortable face. So if I do want a more edgy type of face, it's pretty, really pretty. Cool. That's really nice, that's really nice. I more push for that tough girl sitting, the tramp there. See how she's dropped her knees a little bit white? That's perfect, cool. You'll see that she gets an edge into her face with that. And this is where I can micro tune my look. Cool, that's really pretty. But I'd rather just let her drift around, that's lovely. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Cool, cool, I really like that. Nice, nice, nice. Now, if I was gonna be doing, say with this shot, I wanted to have that implied topless look. Beck knows exactly what to do with her knees. Just bring them a bit closer together, a bit more, or even get your arms around, the, yeah, wrap your arms around the top of your knees. That's it, cool, drop them down, your arms down a little bit, that, that slide down, yeah. yeah, they're perfect, perfect, perfect. Bring your knees together a little bit more, that's it. Cool. So now we've got this really nice look where you can only see the jeans and this is going to be a way that you can get that effect. Um, she's topless and their face isn't going to change one little bit. Yeah, these are really pretty, Beck. You should wear these jeans more often. <laughs> these are cool. They're cool? Yeah. yeah. This is getting back to something I've said before. Um, when you work with someone a lot, they're very comfortable with you. You've brought up a rapport about my style she likes and I like her style, so it's really quick and easy. She's nailed so many pictures. Yeah, <laughs> she's nailed a, a lot of these pictures. Maybe I should be a model. Maybe you should be a model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. So yeah, she's actually nailed it really easy. There's not a lot I would change to what we've done. I really like the way this is set up. But I don't need this. Like, we can cut that. No, we'll keep it going just in case we get something. Okay. So we might have, we're just now going to shoot the thumbnail for this video. So the pressure's on back now. Put lots of pressure no. on you, so much pressure. No, come on. Straight in with your Lion King eyes. Just there, that's better, that's much better. Cool, cool, cool. So Beck should just be able to drift away so I can now talk and she won't listen to what I'm saying. But basically, you'll see the difference now is when she gives some strength she actually goes taller in her body when she goes edgier she you'll see that her collarbone sticks out more and if she goes cuter she does um, a little bit more hunchy with her body so just whatever she moves her body will make her feel a certain way and then her face and her look will follow cool that's really cool that's cool that's really cool Cool, that's really cool, there, there, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I like the knee dropping down. I like the attitude now in the catwalk, right down the barrel, cool. Nice, nice. That's really cool. My hand did then though. Sorry? My hand did something weird. Your hand did It was like weird. bent. It's bent. It's just bent. Anyway, I think anyway. we've definitely got something in that. I hope we've got something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've definitely got something in this lot. So, the story with these pants is about 10, 11 years ago, 
I found an old pair of my band jeans in one of my wardrobes and I brought it in the studio and they're the, my old band jeans from when I was about 21. And there's some Levi Detroits, and I've been told they're worth a fortune. Levi said they'd buy them off me, I said no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and I did a couple of shoots with some models wearing them and they looked really cool. And then a couple of sad things happened to some people around me regarding cancer and I thought, I'm going to do a book called In My Pants and it, the people in the book could only wear these pants. And the only people who get to wear these pants are the people who are going to be shot in the book only wearing these pants. And some of the images I'm putting up now are showing you some of the shots that we've done in the, the pants and some of the shots are very emotional and close to me because of the stories that came about while we were doing this. Now with this happening then we had lots of other models saying, oh, I want to get shot in your pants, mm -hmm. but they didn't want to do the book thing, they just wanted to be shot in my holy pants. So then I got out some sandpaper, some belt sanders, angle grinders, and then made these, which have fallen apart over the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Beck's not making them any better. <laughs> So there's still a pair of my pants, they're still yeah. the same, they're not Detroit so, they're just normal 501s. And these are just slowly disintegrated <laughs> over the so years. <laughs> I think we need to sew parts of it, but I was, might, I was safety oh, pinning them Yeah, before. we're safety pinned a bit. So now all the shots that we did, and I'll flick a couple on screen, I've got a series I'm doing for the ones which are not in my pants in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not, for, they're not for the book. <laughs> I still think I've got another five years of shooting to fill the book. Um, so it's just an ongoing project. We've got lots of people like Beck wants to do it with her mum. She's already got her picture in the book, but she now wants one a bit closer with her mum. And I've got a few other models who want to do it with their mum and, and their I was, families. I was 19 when you shot me for that. I know. <laughs> just a baby. Just a baby. <laughs> so that's the story about In My Pants. It's, it is a project we've been, I've been running for a long time. Mm. 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 We often get people, if you've got your photos open and they see the folder oh, called in, in my, my pants, pants. what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and I think one of the YouTubes actually yeah, someone pointed, like, someone on YouTube that? pointed that out. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so Beck is going to do her little job. I'm going to say that thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> oh my god, robot voice. <laughs> no, I'll start again. Thanks for watching guys, we hope that that was cool and fun. Start and again. <laughs> I don't know why it's The first one was going well. I was going to chop cheese it. Do you want me to lead you in? No, it's fine. I can do it. I was going to say thank you for watching. And that was horrible. I don't like that voice. <laughs> why do you do <laughs> this? Are you going to go funny in my glasses? I know. I, round, I think it's going to be a round face. Round yeah, glasses look really funny, funny on me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope that that was enjoyable and you liked it. And I will pop up some videos around my face somewhere and that'll have a link to Ra Ra jeans because she wore these jeans, everyone's worn these jeans but me, until now. So we'll have Ra Ra in the jeans, we'll the have halo. the halo one that we just did the retouching one so you can find out how to do the halo in Photoshop. <laughs>